to sell digital products on Squarespace. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily sell our digital products with a Squarespace. So this platform provides us the opportunity to do that and in order to get started we just simply need to open their main page squarespace.com and here we are if you are new to this platform you'll have to create an account simply click on get started you can do it with gmail or create separate account for this platform only and after that you'll come to this page i'm already logged in and here we are and basically in order to sell digital products we just simply need to create our own online store after that we can easily leave a link somewhere for example if you have a youtube channel we can uh, like link from youtube to squarespace and after that sell our digital products so in the type of the website we just simply need to click on online store and after that we can easily find a lot of different templates for our future store I suggest you to use this uh, template because if you we'll click on like preview, we can easily see that this like website is pretty easy to understand, is like to deal with. And here we are. Let's name it, for example, Helper Man Digital Products. Continue. Next, next, and get started. So here we are. As you can see, we have uh, cloths inside of our shop. But in a few seconds, we'll change it to our digital products, to our courses, for example, or some other programs. And uh, firstly, I recommend you to click on this icon with like brush, side styles. And here we can easily manage our wall general parameters. For example, I want to change a font group. Let's click on switch. And I would like to use this thing. Also, I want to change color palette. So it helps us to customize our website according to our color palette of our maybe channel or other social medias. In my case, I'm going to use something like this. And what is interesting is that we can also add animations and I prefer to use fade animations like this. Now we can click on save in the left top and in a few seconds, everything will be automatically saved. So let's try to add our digital products inside of this shop. In order to do it, we need to click on commerce on this page here and we'll come to the next page where we can interact with all of our uh, like store stuff. Click on products here or we can easily click on it in the left side menu. And uh, now we can import or add a product. If we have like Etsy shop, Shopify or Big Cartel, uh, we can easily import them. but. I think it's easier to add product itself and as you can see we have a couple of options of how can we like add our product for example like download uh, member site video on demand uh, service course it depends on your purposes in this case i'm going to create a download product for example it's like a digital file customers can download like an ebook pdf template or audio file let's say that we want to sell our pdf template maybe for um, like timetable or something like this so let's click on download and all we need to do now is just simply fill some fields a couple of fields so we need to add product name let it be like helper man pdf for youtube then we can add a small description for example youtube guide created by me we can also add uh, some images upload a file we'd like to like sell so let's try to change something for example let's add uh, this one here i'm going to click on open and yeah in a few seconds it will be uploaded to this platform and now we can change the price let it be like 9.99 um on sale and the last price let it be like 5.99 yeah like this we can also add like categories create categories to bucket products categories will appear in the store navigation and also add a text uh, and um, we can manage like visibility featured product related products product review and so on also what is interesting about uh, squarespace that they provide us the opportunity to like 
manage CEO for our products. We can click on edit and add title and also description like for the page where we will sell our product. It depends on you. I want to add it right up now, but you can. And on the checkout area, we can find the checkout custom button, customize and add the card button and customize a form. So now we can click on save and then just simply click on save once more and our product will be automatically added to our store. So here we can find like uh, different options we can switch and our product is in download area. As you can see, it looks like this. So we have no image. Uh, I will not edit right now, but I recommend you to create an image. You can use like Figma, Photoshop or other uh, platforms, Canva itself uh, to create a preview for your product. At least you can use a footage or something like this. After that, all we need to do is just simply go to like home and manage our design. But of course, we need to know how to manage order. So on the e-commerce uh, folder, we can find orders where we can interact with our customers. And we can also find customers information like leads, customers, first time customers, repeat customers and so on. So as you can see, we can also add a payment method, add a way to get paid. So we need to use Stripe, PayPal or Square. It depends on your choice. Nothing hard to connect your Stripe or PayPal account and then just uh, find the subscription. So yeah, in order to sell digital products, we need to pay for subscription. And if we're going to compare plans, we can see that uh, we have a three plan for commerce and one personal plan. And in order to find differences, I recommend you to visit this page because there are a lot of different metrics. We can compare these plans. But I think in order to start with, it's enough to get business. If you want to like have an advanced level, you can use basic commerce or advanced commerce itself. So if you're going to pay monthly, prices will be like this. And if you're going to pay annually, we can easily save up to 30%. So I think it's pretty cool and we can use it like for a long, long time. So yeah, uh, if you want to know, by the way, how to interact with design, because I also like created a lot of different tutorials about uh, how to interact with um, editor. If you're going to click on edit, we can see the option to edit our website. You can find my other tutorials inside of the playlist. I will mention it right up here. So yeah, I hope this video helped you out. If it is, please uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.